All right, uh, this is for those people that they want to create a really fast uh, signature or watermark or just a little graphic for their company or logo or whatever. And I'm going to use uh, something free that's on the internet, PhotoP. Uh, I love this website. It's almost like Photoshop for free, um, but not as powerful, unfortunately. So. To make to do this go to file new and you'll see it's got pretty good sizes just hit create we don't need to mess around with this stuff all right you'll see that pop up and then you're gonna go to the type tool and up here on your options bar after you click the type tool you see the little arrow you're gonna click on that and you're gonna wait for these previews to pop populate and then you're going to just scroll down and I don't know find one that speaks to you speaks to your personality or whatever you're trying to get across I kinda like you know this one's very old Englishy so embossed black widow I guess I don't know so I click on that and then I'm just gonna click once and it's going to load it up. Now it's going to be really, really tiny, so don't worry about that. Just go ahead and type whatever your company, your graphic, or your signature is. Me, I'm just going to do Kleber Art. Now again, it's really small. Don't worry, because you can always go, and here's what you're going to do. Edit free transform and then you just grab that and make it the size you want put it right in the middle hit enter on your keyboard to get rid of this bounding box now we don't need the background I cannot stress this enough if you're doing a PNG background it's got to be clear so I'm gonna click on this background see how it's highlighted right click delete now anytime you see gray and white checkerboard that usually means it's transparent so right now we're good so you could actually save this if you want and there's your graphic but if you want to do more to it go over here to this gray part right here you see where my mouse is and I'm going to right click and go to blending options now this is going to pop up and you can <coughs> excuse me experiment with a bunch of these and how to experiment is you just say excuse me say you want to do gradient overlay just you know check mark it and uh, it's just gonna give you the the basic so you have to actually highlight it and then you'll see all this wonderful stuff pop up and if you see right here it's just a black and white gradient but you have others to choose from so say you want that or that or that I kind of like that one that's but I mean, whatever and then uh, hit OK now if you want to do more <laughs> I shouldn't hit OK so right click blending options maybe I want to do a stroke and maybe I don't want that color to be red and you can see how I highlighted it it's all highlighted and it's check mark so you click right there say I want black but you know what I kinda do like the dark red alright say so you want to do a drop shadow click on that and then usually you want to keep the color black but you know to each their own if you want to do red you can change it to red I like I like black so we'll do that and then you can mess with the angle move the distance all that good stuff hit OK now if you want to make it a watermark which I some people that like to do that you're gonna go back into blending options and turn off gradient overlay but leave the other ones on leave drop shadow and stroke on I mean you can experiment with the other ones but you really don't want any other ones on except maybe drop shadow and stroke hit OK and then you're gonna turn the fill down to zero percent and that's how you do a simple watermark now how to save that say you want a water a watermark go to file don't want to save as a PSD because I mean that only limits it to what you can open it up in but if you're like doing video editing or something file export as PNG and then just hit save 
Now if you did like the colors and you want that instead, go back to blending options and turn them on. Oh, it wasn't that one. It was this one. And then hit OK. And then you can save that as a PNG. Export as PNG. It's going to, you know, look at the name. It's going to be, you know, one. That's the watermark and that's the colored one. So you might have to go back and rename them. That's easy. Just right click on it. But that is how you do a really quick graphic or a watermark for uh, a company or something with using already installed font. So enjoy.